This story time is being recorded. Um, hello and welcome to Highline Storytime. I am Katie the Librarian and I am reading to you from my home in West Seattle. I would like to acknowledge that I live and work on the ancestral lands of the Duwamish Nation. I honor with gratitude the land itself and the Duwamish people. Today I've got my winter hat and scarf on as I drop my book <laughs> um, because I'm going to be reading The Snowy Day by Ezra Jack Keats. Originally published in 1962 by Viking Press, Keats received the Caldecott Medal for The Snowy Day, the highest honor in children's literature. The Snowy Day, um, even if it hadn't won that award, was one of my favorite stories as a child because I loved snow. Um, it was actually the first book that I gave my son when he was born, hoping that he would love it as much as me. Um, and we love to read the story together, and I love seeing the story anew through his eyes. Um, we've even already had snow in parts of Washington this fall, especially the mountains, of course. Um, and some forecasters are predicting we could see up to 10 inches of snow in the Puget Sound region this winter. I, for one, for one am super pumped about it. So let's dive into the story together. Get cozy, everyone. All right. One winter morning, Peter woke up and looked out the window. Snow had fallen during the night. It covered everything as far as he could see. After breakfast, he put on his snowsuit and ran outside. The snow was piled up very high along the street to make a path for walking. Crunch, crunch, crunch. His feet sank into the snow. He walked with his toes pointing out like this. He walked with his toes pointing in like that. Then he dragged his feet slowly to make, uh, to make tracks. And he also found something sticking out of the snow that he made a new track. It was a stick, a stick that was just right for smacking snow-covered trees. Down fell the snow, plop, on top of Peter's head. He thought it would be fun to join the big boys in their snowball fight, but he knew that he wasn't old enough, not yet. So he made a smiling snowman and some angels. He pretended he was a mountain climber. He climbed up a great, big, tall, heaping mountain of snow and he slid all the way down. He picked up a handful of snow and another and still another he packed it round and firm and put the snowball in his pocket for tomorrow. Then he went into his warm house. He told his mother all about his adventures while she took off his wet socks. And he thought and he thought and he thought about them. Before he got into bed, he looked in his pocket. His pocket was empty. The snowball wasn't there. He felt very sad. While he slept, he dreamed that the sun had melted all the snow away. But when he woke up, his dream was gone. There, um, the snow was still everywhere. New snow was falling. After breakfast, he called to his friend from across the hall and they went out together into the deep, deep snow. The end. Yay! <laughs> I hope Yay! that when the snow comes this winter, you will all take a moment to make a snowman or a snow angel and cherish the magic of playing in the snow, just like our new friend, Peter. Thank you for joining me today. Our next story time will be Wednesday, November 11th at 10 a.m.
The story will be Harriet Gets Carried Away by Jesse Sima with librarian Sam Sermeno. Bye bye, everyone. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs>